Now some of this video was filmed at the same time as the last sword only episode, but it would have been way too long if I put it all in that one, so I just cut it up and brought some of that over into this one. Just wanted to let you know that before we started, but let's get right into it. Okay, we are back on the sword only account now, and obviously we need to fix our team because uh, there's a certain character here that doesn't belong. You know, while we're here, there's something that I want to do. For good luck, you know. <laughs> This hurts me having a five star weapon here. Oh my gosh. So we're obviously we're not gonna kill anything even crabs because that's cheating But just just shooting the bow once, you know, it, it couldn't hurt. Look at how nice that looks. Oh Five star weapons. Imagine having five star weapons. Just just one shot, right? I mean, what could go wrong? It's just one click like that. Oh Oh, no. Huh? Huh? Oh, what? Oh, oh Note to self, don't shoot the bow on sword only. As tempting as it is to walk forward, uh, d d we, 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 we can't, we can't yet. I mean, we could, but you know, this, this, this little girl right here is on the way. And that would be pretty nice for a bow only account, just saying. We shall see. Now we can go in, take Amber back off the team, and uh, since we can't progress here, we might as well progress somewhere else. Because obviously, I want to make some sort of content within this video. Video, other than me just complaining and not being able to progress. Oh, we also have to fix our artifacts. But then I'm thinking we go in and we try and level up some talents, maybe upgrade some... <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh, upgrade some weapons, you know, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Because things like this, uh, can we? Oh yeah, see, like, we could go farm this. This is no problem. So we'll just try and make our characters as strong as possible, so that when we can progress, you know, it's a little bit easier. Oh, hey, look who it is! Uh, do you get an achievement for this? You might. Uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, oops. Oops. Oh, whoops. My hand slipped. No achievement. Can't believe it. We have our first little magey friend over here that we're going to uh, just steal some stuff from. See, I would really like to improve our damage because I really feel like we do none. You know what? This, this is fine. While we're waiting for this daily commission that hopefully we're going to get today, like today, tomorrow when it resets, we can work on all of this stuff. We can work on collecting chests around Inazuma. We can work on ascending things, you know, we're working on the, the tree, the tree in Inazuma. We definitely need to work on that. Oh my gosh, she just dropped so much. I gotta say, it's pretty nice having Kaya's burst be up for 15 seconds as long as I have it keep hitting enemies. I mean, 15 seconds is a pretty long time. Oh, so now you know what we have to do now? We need to level up his burst because I don't think his burst is very high at all. Let's actually look. Let's take a peek. Level three. I think we can get that up to six. Assuming we have the material. Oh, whoa. When did I farm that? That's a lot. Okay. Okay. Why not? I, jeez, we're, oh, we're gonna need so many of these. Oh wait, I could probably craft up a decent amount though. We'll have to go take a look at that, but we could probably get this up to six right now. And we'll just level this up as well, you know, why not? There's so much that needs to be leveled. And unfortunately, as I've pointed out, Bennett uses the same stuff, well, resistance, but he uses the same insignias. And then Albedo also uses Ballad, so that also sucks. But we have the one thing that matters most leveled on him. All right, so that is all of the mages that it wants to show me right now. I know there's usually more than what it shows, but that's all that the game wants to show me for right now. So let's go see what we're able to craft up. And uh, yeah, we'll start out with Kaya's sword. Oh, okay. We don't even need to craft anything for this. Can just ascend that right up. Okay, so th oh no. Oh, I could actually get that today. Hmm. I have to choose what I want to spend my resin on because I could I could do this or I could work on some more of the guides of ballad or I think just guides in general. Yeah, I could work on like any of these if I wanted to. Oh, I could go do these. Oh my gosh, there's so much we could do it, but we need resin for all of it. We could go beat up Devalin. We also need guides of literally everything. We need more of these. So let's see if we can craft some of those up. So pretty much all of the guides as well as whatever the other thing that we just looked at was. All right, so guide of ballad, we're just going to max it out. Unfortunately, I have no character that's going to help me with this. Guides to resistance, we'll just max it out. 
the silver balls will just max it out and oh hoo, 88 too bad i can't double this or anything it will just max it all right so what will that let us do first we're going to max kaya's burst for now i would like to max his elemental skill but i doubt we have enough of the talent books oh we have exactly enough as for Bennett, I want to level this up because that's my only source of pyro, though I suppose the burst is probably a little more important, and we can't max that out because I just spent some on the elemental skill. So we'll just spend even more on the elemental skill. But I do have a question here. Is the flute better on any of the characters I'm using than what they're using? I mean, I would say it's better than this just because it'll have a higher base attack for Bennett, but I can't ascend it to a high enough level yet, so I'm not worried about that. This weapon's not coming off of Albedo. This weapon's probably not coming off of Kaya because his physical damage. So it's between Lumine and Bennett for the flute, and I feel like it's more of a damage dealer weapon, so I don't really know, because this just, Lumine's here for swirl, Bennett's here for the burst. You know, let's go bully Devalin. There's two, actually there's three great things that we could get here. One of them is the sword blueprint, another one is any 5 star artifact that's decent, and the third is obviously the drop that we need for Lumine's talent level up. Any of those would be fantastic for us. Okay, okay, quickly now, quickly now. This, 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 boom, this, into this, into that, into this. I'm really not doing much damage at all. Go, go, Kaya. Kaya, do the damage. Albedo's flower is not down. It got destroyed. That's fantastic. Okay, not exactly the quickest, but, uh, hey, what do you expect? Okay, down for the second time. Let's, let's, let's hope we can do this a little bit better. Okay, so one more rotation. And, wait. Nope, not yet. And, 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 and there we go. Do I have a resin? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, we have resin. Okay, come on, come on. Three things that we want. Oh, this is this is one of the ones that we needed, right? We got that. We got a five. Oh, I mean, an elemental mastery might not be actually for Lumine. That might be good. Oh, I didn't fix Lumine's artifacts. <laughs> she could have been doing a lot more damage in here. We'll have to roll. Actually, no. I'm so stupid. Swirl can't crit, huh? All right, well we're still gonna roll it. See if we can get some good rolls into crit. A uh, four star artifact. Okay. Dream solvent. I literally always get those. No sword piece, but hey, a potentially decent artifact. Now let's see how terribly this thing can roll for us. All right. My guess first roll is going to be into flat defense. It's going to go up to 32 flat defense. Oh, my bad. It was 35 flat defense. I was three points off. We'll give it one more roll and then, and then I'm done leveling it if it rolls poorly. And to be honest, I'm seeing a defense percent in my future. I hate that I'm right about this. Wait, does Albedo want this? Does Alba Albedo doesn't need elemental mastery. He just needs defense, right? So I would be losing like 22% defense percent? 22% defense percent. That's a sentence. But I don't know. Is that worth it? I mean, it is a five-star artifact. Okay, you know what? Watch this. Watch this. Watch. I actually want it to roll defense percent now. Hey, game. Roll defense percent. You know what I'm expecting now? Crit damage. This is such a bad artifact. All right, I'm not going to max level it. Is it even worth sticking on albedo i'm just i'm just gonna put it on it's a five star why not a little less defense now but i guess elemental mastery for whatever that's worth you know we might as well level this up as well because we could get elemental mastery and then looming likes that here comes uh attack percent i guess yeah, of course it's defense why would it be anything but defense <laughs> and more defense oh flat attack great wow way to way to give me that element you know i'm done rolling it while we're on the the weekly grind i figure you know might as well go bully child so last time this was incredibly easy let's see if it's the same this time oh kaya just fell over <laughs> excuse me whoa why did this man do no damage to me last time and now he's just decimating me what happened did they buff kaya in this update <laughs> did 2.4 did i just say kaya no they definitely did not buff kaya did 2.4 buff child okay first phase is done and our main dps is dead fantastic right 
this is not looking good at all. Okay, we got him into the final phase. So that's something. I'm gonna be honest, not sure if we can do this. Maybe Mihoyo saw me just clowning on this guy before and they're like, no, we gotta buff him. Can't have this man just showing up our boss like this. No, no, <laughs> Kai is dead again already. I've learned Kai just cannot live in this fight. All right, this is going okay. Nope, uh, nope. Oh, Lumin's dead. When did that happen? Okay, this is the battle of support. That's concerning, especially when all of our constructs get destroyed in less than a second. Come on, come on, Albedo, you got this. Easy, easy mode. Easy. At least we have our shields and a healer. What else could you possibly need? Who needs damage? Am I right? I'm sure we might need that at some point. Five star artifact. It's okay. And nothing else. Oh, it was not the correct drop from Devalin. I mean, we have plenty of the dream solvent, so I'm not worried about that. Who do we want to level up the most? Most right now. Like, what book do I want to farm? Honestly, even though Lumine is not our main DPS, she is the main character. So I kind of want to level her up. So we need Ballad for that. And we need Bat. Why is everyone using Ballad? I think I want to do this though. I would love to get the Verdescent Veneer set for her for some Animo Shred. That would be so nice. But I'm waiting until we're at least like AR 45 to start farming artifacts because before that, it's really not worth the rest. I don't remember what enemies are in here, but I remember it was a pain. Oh, recommended Electro. If only I had ka -ching. I mean, I, I know I could do Electro Traveler, but if only I had ka -ching. Gosh, so that was going as fast as I could, and it took two and a half minutes. Wait, I have, I have a condensed resin. Ooh. Oh, I really don't want to do this again, but uh... Kinda have to. Okay, this one should be faster. Last was 2.30. That was two. Two minutes. Okay, I saved about 30 seconds on that run. Let's see if the next one can be even faster. I swear, sometimes you have to put self-imposed challenges on everything just to make it more enjoyable. Which I guess is exactly what you could say I did with Genshin Impact by doing swords only. Alright, so I'm hoping that this this is gonna work well, right? We're gonna do this and then that. And then it's gonna turn into it's gonna turn into it's gonna it's not gonna to turn into fire. I hate slime so much. I do have some fragile resin. I really don't like spending it, but obviously if you never spend it, then there's no point in having it. But we'll go see what we can do with what we've collected. So see, little Lumine wants the uh, the ballads, which we can just max this out. A whole two. And then I believe she wants two of these. Now, uh, other characters also want these. Like Kaya Skill 1, my main DPS really wants these. So, you know, actually, sorry, Lumine, Kaya needs them. I really don't want to go get more, but I think we should go get more. Okay, you know what? We have 41 Fragile Resin. I would like to use some of that on artifacts. J just a little. I won't use too much, but some on artifacts once we're able to actually get good artifacts, just to get the ball rolling. But mostly, I like to say Fragile Resin for when you need drops that are limited to certain days. So, uh, I'm just gonna farm some balance. Not gonna waste your time showing you all of that farming. So I'll see when I have some guides to ballad. All right, four, I think it was four, four or five condensed resin later. We got ourselves some ballads here. We'll just craft up whatever we can. The fastest time I was able to clear that domain was one minute and 13 seconds, which is a significant improvement from two and a half minutes. But now if we come on into our talents, we should be able to max out Kaya. Just like that. Six, six, Six and five plus one. Obviously, we can't have any unholy numbers here. So Lumine still needs some leveling. Bennett, you know what? We'll give Bennett... Oh, right. He needs resistance. Okay, we will not give Bennett anything right now. I could level up Albedo's Burst, but it, it doesn't feel necessary. I'd kind of rather level up Lumine's Elemental Skill, although although this, this could help too. I'm going to use it on her skill. So it means... Can, uh, hold on. This will determine it. Can we craft two ballads? Oh, we we can. Okay. Two ballads it is. And then we also need to transmute whatever the thing is into this. So we do that and we get one of these. We come in here, 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 here. Gosh, you have to hit so many buttons to get to this. And there we go. Wait, I 
can level it up again. That's too much. <laughs> no, I wish they just capped it right there. I don't want to level that up anymore right now. You know, while we have it, we'll level up Lumine's normal attacks as well. That's some decent leveling that we've done. Oh, <laughs> look, another drop for Sundays. Let's go do it. I mean, we might as well. What's a little bit more fragile resin spin? I forgot that we can actually ascend all of our characters except for Lumine again. So we need to farm this to, oh geez, add it to the list. There is so much that we need resin for. That's actually kind of crazy. Like I knew that we needed resin, right? Everyone needs, can we not get stun locked here? Obviously everybody needs resin, but I didn't realize we needed it quite this badly. Ugh. <laughs> Three and a half minutes. Okay, so this domain is worse than the last one. Awesome. I'm gonna try to speed run it right now. Let's see what time we can get. Okay, so we're trying to speed run. We get a time of two and a half minutes. I'm hoping I only have to do this one more time and then I'll have enough, but I probably won't, but hopefully, hopefully we will. And two, 14, two minutes, 14 seconds is the fastest that I think I'm going to get for right now. Was it this one? What were we working on? Not this one. Lumines. Lum oh, we literally got just enough. All right, well, this also gives us more elemental mastery. Fantastic for Lumine. Oh, so we ju we just need to farm these, which we can, and we need to farm these, which we also can. You know, let's go do it. Oh yeah, you, you, let's just let's just fight three of them at once. <laughs> that seems like a great idea. What could possibly go wrong other than getting infinitely stun locked? Although I gotta I gotta admit it's kind of fun. Okay, that wasn't too bad. You know, I don't believe we've gotten the Geronimo achievement yet and this is a pretty decently high up spot and i'm assuming that this enemy is right below me so let's see if we can get it yep there we go now I hate fighting enemies with shields, especially without Shing Cho when they have a pyro shield. And that's exactly what I'm about to go do. Although later in 2.4, I will get a free Shing Cho on this account and I am so looking forward to it. So we can level up this weapon once again. And of course, we're just gonna bring it up to max level. And honestly, that's not even that bad for Ascension materials. All right, so I have just logged in for the first time of the day. Not not sure if you could tell from my voice, but I, I did just kind of wake up a few minutes ago. If we look at this map, I really hope that we're going to see a daily commission where we want it to be. And I have a bad feeling we're not going to see that. They're, they're close, very close, but unfortunately, they're not where we need them to be. All I can say is I hope we get the right commission tomorrow. It is currently day number three of trying to get daily commissions to appear on this island and so far no luck and i've been reading through some comments and uh we have some geniuses in the chat like the people saying to just use lumine's burst and attack them all right let, let's do that let's just activate this one you know come over here we'll use the burst on this one and then we just normal attack and it'll charge it right oh look look it doesn't do that that's crazy or or the people saying you know the last attack of lumine sends out the electric wave oh uh, no oh wait that's the animal one then we also have people saying just summon in the electro granum and hit them lamau oh what a great idea let's do that let's just oh oh would you look at that it doesn't work. And then we got the 10,000 IQ people saying go on co-op, get someone with an Electro Lumine or ka to just help you do it. Small problem there. Only the host can activate these. Now there's also the thought of get struck by lightning, just like that. And then with Animo Lumine, you would attack this and you'd be infused with Electro. Except you wouldn't be because it's constantly raining. So you'd be more effective with Hydro. So when the lightning hits you, it just creates Electro charged. And by the time you actually use a skill, it's just Hydro. So the only way that that might work, if it works, is if we stop the rain here, go get hit by Electro somewhere else, put a portable waypoint here, teleport back, and then try and hit them. Now with all of that out of the way, let's move on to the ideas that I 
feel have a little more promise. So we're just gonna put down a portable waypoint here. That way I don't have to try and run back here every time I want to do this. So that'll be nice. Now what I did see someone remind me of is that we can level up Goro here and then ascend him for one free wish. Except I actually can't because I haven't killed any specters and I don't have enough pearls. Alright, well I don't think I'm gonna be able to attack this one anytime soon. So we're just not going to. We'll ascend Goro because I have exactly enough. Grab our free wish and then just hope and pray that we get a Kaching. Okay, uh, uh, Kaya C3. Ah, Favonius Lands. Very helpful. Now, another option is with the Electro Granum. I really don't think it's going to work because the monuments are not an opponent. Okay, it's going to take a little bit more than I expected it to, but we could try to get up to level 10 because I believe that's when it actually activates some sort of Electro thingy when you attack. That's going to be a lot of chests that we have to open. So I guess I'm just going to go around and try to open as many chests as possible because not only may we potentially be able to activate those things once we get the Electrogranum to level 10, but we'll also get some acquaint fates out of it. Now, this is certainly going to take a while, but we kind of need to do it. It just sucks how almost every single chest in Inazuma is just a common chest. So at that rate, I'm gonna have to open a couple hundred common chests. All right, um... How do we stop the rain? There's some quest that was over here, I'm pretty sure. I'm just all over the place with what I'm doing. The good thing is we only have to stop the rain in one area. So we should hit this and then see a little cutscene. Beautiful. And now hopefully this is the one that extends over to the island. So now we do not have rain on this island anymore. Meaning if we apply electro to ourselves, then Animo Lumine should be able to apply electro. I still, I don't think that this works, but I'm going to try it again anyways. I feel like this is the easiest way to have electro applied to you. We're hit with electro. So let's zoom back on over here. Problem is I don't think I can hit all of these in the time that I'm affected with a that doesn't even work. It actually just doesn't even work. I don't think it's a matter of what Lumine is applied with. I think it's a matter of what the opponent is applied with, which means even if Lumine is applied with Electro, she's not going to spread Electro with Animo. That only works if the opponent has Electro and obviously you can't apply Electro to a stone, which brings us back to just opening up chests. So you mean to tell me I'm fighting two Abyss Mages in this big boy for a common chest. If we were in Mondstadt, this would be a luxurious chest. We do not yet have enough seals to get to level 10. However, I did collect enough to get to level 7, which means we get to acquaint fates. I also checked and we're at like 38 or 39 pity. So, you know, obviously it's guaranteed that we're gonna- oh, I thought it was gonna go gold for a second. That's two purples in a row. Two purples that we can't use in a row. Wait, the thing is though, that's another free wish. All we do is ascend beta once, grab our new wish, and then try again and get another blue. You know what? At this point, at this point, I, I just want ka-ching. I, <laughs> I just want ka-ching. Come on, come on. Easy. Easiest, easiest gold of my life. Right here. Or not. I regret to inform you that it is day four or five and the daily commission is still not on this island although what's weird is i have my commission set to inazuma we have we have one we have two we have three and then the fourth one is up in monstat now i had never swapped my commissions out of monstat on any account so maybe this is normal but why? Now just real quick, a couple of exciting things here. First off, people told me I can actually get to Enkonomiya without finishing this quest, though I don't know how much I can trust that, considering people also said I can do all of this with Lumine's Burst, and you can't. But we can potentially get to Enkonomiya, which means maybe a live stream, and also Wind Trace is out, so that can be a lot of fun, and I'm sure I'm gonna make a video doing that. 